Hey Brian Perry here. Um, um, I thought tonight um, I'll do a hair remedy. Um, for this one all you need is olive oil. Any olive oil will do. Um, I've got a humble one that I used to use for my brushes. Um, this is actually a brush for um, doing face masks. But I won't do one tonight because I've still got my makeup on from today because it's St. Betty's Day and I had work. I'm going to use it to put it on my scalp. Um, as most of you should know, I have really bad psoriasis on my scalp. As you can see one there. It's into a scalp. But it's all over and it's really itchy and not painful but just really annoying. Um, I found out with psoriasis, um, skin usually um, makes new skin every 21 days. Where people with psoriasis, their skin makes it every 6 days. So that's why it's really bad. But I thought I'd give it a try. If you know any others for people with sensitive um, scalps or anything like me, let me know and I'll try them. But I just got a little bowl here. Filled it up with my brush. Brush my hair a lot of times so all the knots are out. Um, I'm going to leave it in for about half an hour and then wash it out. And I'll see how it goes. So I'll show you guys me doing it a little bit for the beginning and I'll stop it so you don't have to watch me do all of it. And then see how it goes after. So I'm going to put it on my brush. Start in the middle and it's pretty cold. Um, I am trying a lot of new things with my face and my scalp to try and help it just be a lot better because it is really annoying because my face is always scaly no matter how much moisturizer and products I use. Even in summer, not just winter anymore. And it just really, really annoys me because I love, as you know, I love doing makeup tutorials and everything. And it's just really difficult to make it look good when your face is very, very scaly. But, um, yeah, again, if you do have a different one to try, let me know. I'd love to know. But I'm just going to put it all over my scalp and probably put, like, a wig cap. Not wig cap, but, um, um, a shower cap or garbage bag. Not garbage bag, but, uh, like, a shopping bag if you want. It's tied on a little piece of dandruff there. Fun. But, um... Yeah, um, I'll come back in a second and I'll show you guys when this is all finished, so I'll see you then. Okay, it looks really silly right now, but my hair is completely covered. Um, I even did the back of it, because um, apparently it can also help with hair and everything to make it really shiny and stuff, but besides what I tried. But I just finished it and it took a very long time to do. I used my hands a little bit to help set it, like really, really massage it in. But it's 8.33 right now. Um, I'll see how it goes and I'll get back to you guys. I look really silly right now. But um, it hasn't been in for long. But I did put a um, plastic bag around my head because I couldn't find my um, shower cap. But um, after this... Oh, it's in my eyes everywhere. Because I'll have like all that off and all my makeup. Um, I will do a face mask as well. As you know, I did a, um, a bit of a monthly favourite. It's a big group of these. Um, I'll put a link in the description of what they're called and where I get them from. But um, I will put the space mask on after and I'll show you how to put it on and how it is and everything like that. But I'll see you guys extremely soon. Hey guys, so I just washed it out. Um, it's feeling a lot healthier already. All of it, I put it all on my hair all over. Because apparently it can help with hair as, like, hair and, as well. Words. Wood sorry and hiccups. Oh wow. But um, as you can see my face is a little bit red um, from using my products I use every night, which happens normally because I'm taking like all the dead skin off. But my hair is a lot um, less split ends already. I'm probably gonna get a haircut soon when I can afford one, as you know with um, everything that's been happening. But um no, it feels very nice. My scalp is very clean. And it feels extremely clean and uh, I can't really feel any scale so that's good. Um, I do recommend it giving it a try. If you have any others let me know. My makeup is still not completely off. But um, I will put the mask on but I just gotta put my hair back and everything like that so I'll be back in a second. Okay I know my face looks even more redder now but um, I just use face wipes to get the rest of the dead skin off. But um, yeah I'm going to use my face masks now. This one is for moisturising and um, tightening when it wants to, there we go. 
Um, I do have, I, I don't know if you saw, a couple of months back from one of my mother's favorites, I had a huge collection of them, and I still do. If you want to try and find it, I will put a link in the description when I do find it, and I'll put it in there for when it's on. I have, I have um, way over 50 of them, different kinds, and they are really good for sensitive skin like mine. So, you take it out of this packet, and it's really, really slimy, like extremely extremely slimy and you've got to try and open it very gently because the face mask is really thin material um, you just take it off and that's the extra and I'll just get it apart <laughs> I haven't used one for a very long time because I've been so busy lately but I didn't mean to oh it's oh, sticking everywhere it looks really scary <laughs> And it looks scary on the first time you use it, but other than that, it's it's wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna put it on if I can. But see what I mean by it doesn't quite fit properly. Like that's a cigar and stick here. stick a lot. So you just want to help guide it. And that's supposed to go there, like I said. Oh, you know it. Done, you. Yes, it does look really funny. And because it doesn't fit properly. But I leave it on for about half an hour. And you let it soak in. Because it is really, really good. And it will sometimes go down your neck. But... My god, these things really do help when you don't, if you have time and you want to relax a little or anything like that, I'm just going to put that in. But, um, yeah, I'll get to after it and I'll show you guys how it is, but um, I will talk a little bit while I wipe my hands so I can actually turn it off. Um, these really do help. Like I said, if you've got sensitive skin, I will put a link down below it does move a lot but everyone's face is different so but yeah half an hour leave it on and then I like help soak it in because what you're supposed to do but um I'll get to when it's finished so while this is still on um I thought I could show you guys a product that I have showed you guys a very very long time ago and it's um I call it an eye mask but eye patches and they really help with the bags under your eyes to make them less puffy and less dark because I'm good with my autism I don't sleep well mostly like pretty much every night so this really does help if I want to look refreshed and give my eyes a nice pampering but um, instead of this you can maybe use one of these They're, these are all extremely cheap products um, kind of prices but if I do I'll put links in the description when I do find it but with this, um, I usually, if I don't want to do the whole mask, I just moisturize my face a lot because I didn't know it was really dry and put one of these on for about half an hour. Um, I do find these really good and this brand does have a lot of good products. Really, really good brand. I recommend them a lot. But um, yeah, I'll get back and show you guys when it's done now. Okay, so it's been half an hour, maybe a little bit less, but... I've already did my face stuff from when I had a shoe and everything, so I really didn't want to overdo it tonight. But I just really, really rub it in, even down my neck and everything. Um, the lighting is really bad tonight because it's in about 10 o'clock at night now. And my lighting in my um, bathroom is really bad. It's usually really good in the daytime, as you've seen in some of my other videos. But um, it's not really helping that I'm sweating a lot. My face does look really red. It will go down, it's not irritating or anything, it's just, this is just what it does every night. Um, a little bit too much to my face because it's sweating as well. So it's not really going in as good, but it, it, my face does feel a lot more um, better, a lot more clean. And how it should be. 
or else to moisturize tonight. But sometimes even after this, I do use the eye mask after just to help my eyes a bit more. Quite dark lately because I've not been sleeping well because of the dog in his fractured leg. But um, no, the face, not face, but the hair um, remedy, wire clip remedy, did really, really well. I'm really surprised with it. And it's so um, easy. It shows that you don't have to use the expensive brands. You can use the home brands or other uh, things like that. But I had that in the cupboard for when I used to um, clean my um, makeup brushes with it. Sorry, I washed my hands. But um, yeah, I'm just going to dab the excess off with some paper towel because it's way too much on my skin to handle with my autism. I don't like like really thick stuff. But um, yeah, that'll look really red. I'll try to get better lighting, but I can't. But I hope you did enjoy it. If you have tried it, let me know. Um, if you have a different one for face, um, hair, nails, feet, anything like that, let me know. I'd love to hear it. So I'll see you guys in the next video and have a good rest of your St. Patrick's Day, which it is today. So I hope you had a good one. Bye.